EA Games. Challenge everything. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. Now, Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. This ball's called the quaffle. The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the keeper. I'm keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. The bludgers rock around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock him towards the other team. To sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the Seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the Quaffle or the Bludgers. This is the Golden Snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the Seeker's job to weave in and out of the Chasers, Beaters, Bludgers and Quaffle to catch the Snitch before the other team's Seeker, because whichever Seeker catches the Snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the snitch is caught. Any questions? No? Good. Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. OK. So if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch.
congratulations on choosing Gryffindor. I'll be your guide from now on. The first thing you have to do is learn the skills you'll need to play a game of Quidditch. Now, let's go meet the rest of the team. I'm Angelina Johnson, and I'm a Gryffindor chaser. My house challenge is all about passing the quaffle. This challenge is all about passing the quaffle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation and between each chaser you'll see a magical ring. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must pass the quaffle back and forth through the rings while they are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will cause that ring to turn red and a time penalty will be incurred. Hi there, Harry here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your path. Excellent! A new Quidditch card! Brilliant! We've won our first Quidditch card. The more cards we win, the more our team will be able to do. These cards will open up all sorts of other things too. You can take a look at your Quidditch cards anytime you like, as long as you're not actually playing. Press this button and select the View Cards option. Use the control pad to cycle through the cards we've collected. You'll also find hints on how to win more cards. My name's Katie Bell, and I play Chaser for Gryffindor. My house challenge involves learning to tackle and to shoot at the goals. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously a pretty good Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the quaffle, trying to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the gold hoops. Edgar will, of course, not only try to prevent your chaser from gaining the quaffle, but will also try to prevent them from scoring. Hi there, Harry here. Just a quick reminder, press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. Good luck! A new Quidditch card! My name's Harry Potter, and I'm the Gryffindor Seeker. I'll show you how to catch the snitch.
A golden snidget has escaped from a snidget reservation. And because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. This is a good opportunity to learn about slipstreaming and boosting when playing in a real match. And Madam Hoot is going to help us out. You'll see that Potter must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the golden snidget. This is so that he can accumulate enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the snidget. Once Potter has enough boost, I will peel off and leave grabbing the snidget to him. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost, and when you're close enough, grab that snidget! We've won a new Quidditch card! Brilliant effort! You've been successful in your first three house challenges and you're now ready to play a real Quidditch match. Ready for a match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see just how ready you really are. Let's play for the Quidditch Cup! Hello out there, this is Lee Jordan speaking to you from a packed stadium here at Hogwarts. My good friend and well-known Quidditch expert, Seamus Finnegan, Join me for today's game between Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Thank you, Lee. I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams fight yourselves. Never reach out! <laughs> 
face. Spinner scales the crumble. She's got such great desire. Johnson, she scores! Boom! Spinner takes it. She's the one you want to watch if you want to learn how to really tackle. Johnson. He makes it look easy. Page is one of the best. Bell picks it up. Flips it. Spinette. She launches the shot. She makes the shot. Davies. Johnson grabs it. She passes it off. Spinette. Bell unloads. Stretton. Johnson gets the loose ball. She shows great strength in the tackle. Now, she puts it away. Boom. She passes. Johnson shoots it. She sends it home. Davies! Bullet pass! Shoots! He intercepts the quabble! Johnson takes it! Take the shot! Never in doubt! Roger Davies! Bell goes in! Unloads! Pace with a nice save! Passes! Alicia Spinett! Randolph Bow! Bell grabs the crumble! Just shut! No can that one! Jeremy Stretton! Johnson takes the crumble! With the pass! KD Bell! Alicia Spinett! In! Roger Davies! Johnson grabs it! Golden stitches appear. A classic jewel. Butter is really close. He just clash and finishes. Gryffindor's doing pretty well at the moment. I'm Fred Weasley. My brother George and I are the team's beaters. This house challenge is about beaters and bludgers. In this challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, that is, George and me, We'll be searching for targets placed throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is whack a bludger at each of the targets. Sounds simple enough. Except that once the bludger has hit a target, it'll rebound and pursue the chaser with it. So the beaters can bat it away. Harry here with a reminder. Use the broomstick control to explore the area. Press and hold the bludger button and drive the bludger towards the target.
A new Quidditch card. Hello, I'm Alicia Spinett. I'm a chaser for Gryffindor. I'll teach you about dodging and special move tackles. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and our old ghostly friend, Edgar Clogs. Edgar's going to try and take the quaffle from your chaser and prevent them from scoring a goal. Edgar's in a particularly troublesome mood and your chaser needs to employ the dodge to avoid him. Edgar's an expert at the special move tackle and this means it's going to be very difficult for your chaser to keep the quaffle for longer than a couple of seconds. Harry here with a reminder. Press and hold the special move button and steer the target over Edgar. Release the button to tackle. Use the dodge button to avoid him. And the shoot button once you're in range of the goal hoops. Wow, we've won a new Quidditch card!